Hej, cześć, witam was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie z tej strony Tory 152 i moi drodzy, witam was w nowym odcinku z serii Zagrajmy w Risen. Moi drodzy, dziesiąty odcinek przed nami, a my ruszamy. Mam nadzieję, że jakość głosu jest zadowalająca, ponieważ no, siedzę już na nowym fotelu i troszeczkę inaczej musiałam się ułożyć względem mikrofonu. Tak, żeby też moje plecy tego nie ucierpiały, właśnie gdzieś spadłam. Tu jest w ogóle jeszcze tyle ludzi, z którymi my możemy porozmawiać, że to jest kosmos. Dlatego zrobimy tak. Rodriguez, co Delgado planuje? Sergio chce złoto Ramona. Romanowa, sorry. Kufer Romanowa. No sprawę Romanowa mamy do zrobienia. Podobno pierścień skradania się gdzieś powinien być w okolicy siedziby Inkwizycji. Więc przejdziemy się tam. Konkretniej, na górę. Może nawet uda nam się porozmawiać z którymś przedstawicielem. Na przykład z Carlosem. Ale tego to na razie nie wiadomo. Także na razie sprawdzimy tutaj obrzeża. Tu mogę wejść. Tylko nie za bardzo wiem po co. Także zrobiliśmy sobie rundkę po dachach. Uu. Niestety tam nie wskoczę. Mówi się trudno. Ale możemy przejść się wyżej jeszcze. Tu jeszcze wyżej będzie siedziba Inkwizycji, ale możemy się też przejść tutaj. Jest Tilda na przykład. O kurczę, tutaj jest naprawdę tyle rzeczy. Tam na dół też można w sumie zejść i można by było wyjść z miasta tak na uparciucha. Ale no wiecie jak to jest, nie? Dobra. Ktoś się obrazi, jeżeli sobie to otworzę? Chyba nie. No, tu jest kowal, też myślę, że warto z nim porozmawiać. Wiecie co, zerkniemy sobie na szybko. Bo o tym pierścionku mi pisał Max Base, tylko ja sobie oczywiście nie zapamiętam, gdzie to jest. Więc zaraz sobie przeczytamy jeszcze raz i zobaczymy. W wąskim załuku na prawo od wejścia do siedziby Inkwizycji w mieście. Jeszcze raz. Na prawo od wejścia w załuku. Czyli chyba jeszcze wyżej musimy wejść. Marcelno. O Jezu. Tutaj jest tyle ludzi, z którymi trzeba porozmawiać. To jest straszne. Masakra. No dobrze, no cóż. Wszędzie musi mój nosek teraz zaglądać. A, no i co? I w sumie... Na prawo od wejścia w wąskim załuku. To raczej nie tutaj, ale można by spojrzeć. E, tak, no co u mnie, moi drodzy? No nawet się dzieje troszkę. Odpoczywam w sumie przed studiami. Przed nauką. Holt. You're not coming in here. What's this building? It's our guardhouse and the headquarters of Carlos, the commandant of the town. What are you looking for, stranger? If you need food or aid, then Brother Belshaw's your man. You'll find him in the gutters, taking care of the needy. How did you become a warrior of the Order? I volunteered. Conscripts usually get sent to the temple ruins after training. I'd rather take guard duty in town any day of the week. They actually tried to make me become a mage. A mage? <laughs> I mean, really? All that messing around with magic. It's not natural. I need to talk to your boss. 
Sorry, I have my orders, and I'm afraid the Commandant isn't available to anyone. If you really want to see him, talk to some of the guards, then see if you can help. The Commandant doesn't tend to have time for people unless they're helping, or causing trouble. And causing trouble gets you press ganged. How will Commandant Carlos summon me if he doesn't know where I am? Carlos knows everything that happens in this town. If he wants to see you, then one of the guards will find you. Right. What do I have to do if I want to volunteer? You need a recommendation from our Commandant, Carlos. But only Carlos decides whether he wants to talk to you or not. And so far, he's not got any reason to talk to you, so don't waste your time asking. No to powiem wam, że chyba niedobrze, bo... Chociaż nie, moment, na prawo miało być. Możemy kopać. Dobra, jakbyśmy nie mieli łopaty, nie? To na wszelki gra nam daje. Fajnie. Okej. Okay. No to ogólnie jak tam u mnie? No odpoczywam przed studiami. Jeszcze czekam na jakiś plan zajęć, bo na to się troszeczkę oczywiście czeka. Ale no, chciałabym już go znać, bo fajnie by było sobie parę rzeczy ustalić. Na przykład, nie wiem, idę teraz 20 na paznokcie i no nie mogę się umówić na kolejny termin, bo, bo nie. Bo jakby nie wiem, kiedy będę miała zajęcia, w jakich porach, godzinach, więc po prostu na razie się chyba nie umówię. Mamy pierścień skradania się, pięknie. O to chodziło. No ale to wiecie, to z takich pierdolet typowo kobiecych, chociaż Damian bardzo lubi, że zaczęłam sobie robić paznokcie od ślubu. W sumie ja też to lubię, bo moje paznokcie były w okropnej kondycji. Strasznie mi się łamały mimo stosowania różnych odżywek i wszystkiego. Więc no fajnie, że chociaż w ten sposób mogę mieć zadbane dłonie. Ale no koniec pierdolet o takich pierdołach. Chodźmy zobaczyć sprawę z tym magazynem. No, a ogólnie to mój tata też dzisiaj do mnie dzwonił z propozycją, że jak będą wybory parlamentarne teraz, to, to będę mogła wziąć jakby udział w tym liczeniu głosów i w przyjmowaniu osób właśnie w konkretnych punktach tych komisyjnych, tych wyborczych i no, zarobię troszeczkę, bo za chyba jeden taki... Ten dzień właśnie wyborczy, podobno 6 stówek można zgarnąć, także to piechotą nie chodzi jednak. Jezu, gdzie ja chodzę? Także myślę, że skorzystam z tej okazji, jak tylko będzie mi ona w 100% dana. No bo 600 zł nie chodzi piechotą, a ja na razie nie pracuję, więc w sumie dla mnie to będzie jakiś profit. Zawsze będę mogła coś odłożyć. I, i co? No i tak w sumie. Cały czas się zastanawiam nad pracą, bo fajnie by było pracować, ale z drugiej strony... Z drugiej strony, no, że tak powiem, nie mogę mieć wszystkiego, nie? Pod którym się skrada? Dobra, zaraz sprawdzimy ustawienia, sterowanie. Co jest? Kontrol. A, bo nie założyło mi. Dobra. Okay. Kurde no. Oh no. Job well done. Okay, parę pierdółek. No, a z takich innych rzeczy, które tam u mnie słychać ewentualnie, no to w sumie w sumie jakoś to leci. Fajnie jest mieć pierścień skradania się. Boże, że nie mam wytrychów chyba za dużo. Ale to nic.
tutaj przynajmniej pootwierane. Mamy zmniejszenie się tak jakby, łazika mamy. To bardzo fajny czar. Zapisiki możemy lecieć na górę. No a z takich innych spraw to wiecie, domowe sprawy. Właśnie zresztą też wróciłam z zakupów. Dama ze mną poszedł na spożywkę. Mimo, że go nawet nie prosiłam. To uznał, że ze mną pójdzie. Kurde, gdzie jest ta skrzynia Romanowa? Pewnie na samym końcu gdzieś. Mam nadzieję, że jakiegoś strażnika to tutaj nie ma. Czy ja w ogóle dobrze wlazłam? Bo ja już mam takie, wiecie, zaćmienie trochę mózgu. Kufer. Na ostatnim piętrze magazynu na przystani. No ale to jest ostatnie piętro, nie? Tu się wyżej już wejść nie da, przynajmniej od tej strony. Chyba, że od drugiej gdzieś wejdziemy. Hmm. No może by tamtędy jednak poszperać? I zeskoczyć jakoś na dół? Czy coś? Czy coś się stanie, jak tu zeskoczę? Oj, oj. Okej, okay, ukos w porządku, rozumiem. Myślałam, że się już mnie sapie, nie? Hmm. W sumie możemy trochę pokradać. Kufer Durama. Uuu, otwieranie wyższe zamków potrzebuje. Okej, okay, rozumiem. Jakby tutaj wejść do tego magazynu, żeby mnie ukos nie zauważył? Chyba mam plan. On nie reaguje, że tu wlazłam. O hej! Zdążę szybko przebiec? Chyba zdążyłam. Dobra, on tam stoi, ok. No to dobra. Sprawdzamy. Masakra wam powiem. Zebrałem jakiś fajniejszy czar. Jest wreszcie kufer Romanowa. Mamy wszystko. Spoko. Zejść stąd to już nie powinien być jakiś tam bardzo problem. Matko i córko. Dobra. Coś dużo mam tych wytrychów. Okej, okay, to wszystko. Okej, okay, ktoś się tam popluł na mnie chwilę.
Trochę dostałam, ale zlazłam. Oto teraz możemy iść do Romanowa. Szkoda, że nie da się jeszcze szybciej biegać, chociaż nasza postać i tak całkiem sprawnie chodzi. I to jest na pewno jeden większy plus. Dobra. Ej, zaraz co? Dla Dona? To nie, 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 nie. dobra, nie chcemy. Gościu, gra, wczytaj. Szybki zapis. Nie, dobra, jak chcemy pomagać inkwizycji, to dla Dona nie robimy tego. Oj, nie, nie, nie. I found this casket. It has Romanov's name on it. Huh? Do you know what you've just given me? The gold the Don gave to Romanov must be in this casket. Go on. I never would have thought of that. You've done an excellent job. Commandant Carlos will be immensely pleased. Here, your reward. But don't spend it all in one place. Dobra. Kufer Romanowa zadanie anulowane. No nic dziwnego, bo gramy po stronie tutaj Inkwizycji. Dobra. Tutaj się musimy, widzę, też chyba obu zadeklarować. No to zróbmy to, żeby nie, żeby nie było, nie? All right. I'll find the three golden bowls for you. You've got a pair on you. I'll give you that. But with the corrupt rabble we've got around here, it won't be easy. There'll be more than just you who's after them. So watch your back. Don't worry, I'll get your plates back. All five of them. Watch yourself. That godforsaken lot won't just give them to you. I have nothing more to tell you. Dobra. No to musimy teraz to wszystko ogarnąć. I'll retrieve the armor plates. That's the spirit. I'm here if you've got any more questions. Carrasco wants the armor plates back. I'm sure he does. But he won't pay you as good as I will. So, forget Carrasco and bring me those plates. Dobra, od ciebie się dowiedziałam, kto te pancerze ma, no nie? Co planuje Rodriguez? Sebastian, co planuje Delgado? To możemy Delgado wsypać już. W sumie. Wiecie, już się powoli będę opowiadać, bo nie ma co z tym czekać, wydaje mi się. Delgado wants to extort protection money from the pawnbroker Costa. And he needs you to do it for him. Am I right? That's it. Apparently Costa's ripping off farmers, and the Don's men want some of the spoils. Yes, I've had a bad feeling about Costa for a while. Delgado is desperate for gold. Without it, his own people will hang him out to dry. Then this is the chance I've been waiting for. Will you help me to deal with Delgado? What do you want me to do? Pretend to work for Delgado, and get the gold from Costa. But instead of giving it to him, give it to me. I will make sure it gets back to the proper owners. And if Delgado doesn't get Costa's gold, we'll have caused a big internal row within the Don's men. Dobra, udawanie jo 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 jajności, Boże, co ja mam dzisiaj z wymową? Hmm, dobra, musimy się zadeklarować też drugiej stronie. I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it, but don't kill him. 
No point killing the Golden Goose. And it will get the Inquisition on our backs. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them, one at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. No, i dobra. Go about your business. Tu kogoś mamy jeszcze. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to keep, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business. I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. So you're paid muscle. Better than an unpaid muscle. You work for Costa? Yeah. Gotta get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the harbor. Most ships means no work. To co, może spierzemy dziada, nie? Come on then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You wanna fight me? Here? Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Why not? I don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with. That was good. Dobra, fajnie. No i eluwa, nie? Skręt. A mnie czeka nie wywalił? Słabo. Do me a favor, mate. And don't let Costa know you can fight like that. Or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him. Or are we gonna have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle. But that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. Can't help you, I'm afraid. Dobra, to jeszcze Costa zostało. I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. What do you sell? Weapons, potions, jewelry, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Let's trade. Co ty masz? Masz magiczne światło, słabe leczenie. Masz płaszcz oficera. Spoko, ale chyba się obejdzie bez nowej zbroi na razie. Anywhere around here I can sleep. It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. I don't ask much. Just 30 gold coins. They're safe, peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People got to find a way to get by. Quite a few folks want to sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey, no one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Police. You won't pay? Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know. You'll see that soon enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. So, no payment. And yes, that is my final say. Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! I've already dealt with him. Fuller. Worthless sack of bones. You want to make things personal? 
You want it, you come and take it. Hope you're ready for this. Oh yeah, yeah, obroniam się. Ale Kostar jest słaby. Sekiewka. Hehe. Pozamiatane. You're nothing but a lousy thug. Come to gloat, have you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. I did warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. No, dobra, czyli chyba sprawa załatwiona, nie? Sakiewka jeszcze jedna była. Mamy 300 sztuk. Here is the gold from Costa. Excellent work. What will happen with the gold now? I will give it to the people it belongs to. So how do we proceed with your plan? Delgado should learn his association with Costa is over. That will add to his problems. You want me to tell Delgado? Yes. And tell him the Order has the gold. If he doesn't want trouble, he should leave Harbour Town for good. Why would Delgado leave? The Inquisitor knows what he's up to. That should be enough to make Delgado run. The Don's men always run. Besides, he also needs to explain to the Don where his takings have gone. Poor Delgado. <laughs> will be squeezed from both sides. No, dobra. Delgado to mi chyba spuści w pierdy, nie? Costa has no gold to pay with. The Order has it. You gave the gold to the Order. You'd better think about getting yourself a bodyguard. What are you planning to do now? I'll have to go and explain this mess. And you can piss off back to whatever hole you crawled out of. Dobra, Delgado, Spaduwa, Eluwa i tak dalej. Delgado will run. I'm certain of it. Well done. It's good to see you've chosen the right side. Seemed the thing to do. Good. I will inform Carlos that you helped me. Here. Your reward. Dobra, bo Delgado się widzę, że zbagował. Ask someone else. Tutaj ogarnięte. Elias. Please. Take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. Gościu, masz trochę taką bardzo okropną twarz, jakby martwą. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, that's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchants district. That's where the main gate of the town is. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise. Stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth. Then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods. Not the stuff he's pushing. Let me see your goods. No, dobra, masz parę rzeczy. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer. So the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. Tell me about the gutters. The gutters are everything above the harbour. Home to the unlucky, unloved, farmers and refugees. Master Belshaw has set up a soup kitchen at the end of the road. He's a mage from the monastery, one of the order. But at least he's looking after us. And there's Flavio, a merchant. He has his business at the end of the gutters, next to the shrine. And if you want a beer, go to Josh. He has a small tavern here. Tell me about the harbour. 
They say the gutters isn't reputable. Go down there, you get drunk sailors, a tavern, and a brothel. People aren't as willing to spend gold as they used to. With the storms, the sailors are stuck here and bored. But if you're looking for pleasure, that's the place for you. You find a lot of stranded fishermen and workers at the warehouses. One of the buildings was confiscated by the order. Don't know what they're storing there. Anything else? Well, the order seized the old harbour master's office and set up a slaughterhouse there. If you have enough gold, you can buy meat. With gold and meat, you'll also find guards. Tell me about the merchant district. If you're looking for goods and have enough gold, there's a lot of merchants around the square at the main gate. But try here first, yeah? If we refugees don't support each other, who else will? No dobra, Elias, to wszystko z tobą w takim razie. Kolejna roślinka. Tu jest zwykły rolnik, tutaj jest moja chatka, puchatka, do której nie mam... Nie no, otworzyłam to już, nie? Ta. Do Pati by się można było przejść, tylko że jak do niej pójdę, to będę z nią gadała 300 lat, bo z nią jest dużo dialogów bardzo. Wojownik zakonu. Ja z Sebastianem miałam pogadać, no nie? To Sebastian był tutaj po drugiej stronie, na dole. Nie, to jest Rodriguez. Gdzie był Sebastian? Ej, no halo, nie? Albo był tutaj, jak się idzie w głąb? Hmm. Ahoy! Come to see me, have you? I need a map of the island. Why? Surely you've heard it's illegal to leave the town. I have. Well, I'll draw you a map if you want. You could use it for decoration. How much do you want for the map? It'll be a fair price. I'll let you know when it's completed. How long will that be? A good map can't be hurried. Especially these days when the terrain itself keeps changing. But for anyone who knows how to get out of the town, my map would be very useful. Dobra, gościu od map. Ej, zaraz moment. Sid mnie prosił o pogadanie z Sebastianem. If you have time for idleness, I end. Nie, Rodriguez. Co mi się popierdzieliło? Masakra. Zaćmienie mózgu. No to faktycznie tutaj był, nie? Tam, gdzie polazłam. Ach, zadania i zadania i jeszcze raz zadania. There's a hungry lot. But if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job. But when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Although, that's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it, though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but he's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realized he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. 
but I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. No, Abraham. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson, the cartographer, Flavio, the fur dealer, and Baxter, the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Where can I find? Dobra, myślę, że znajdziemy wszystkich. Szczególnie, że u Nelsona już byłam. If you're looking for your cow, you're in the wrong place. Only cows we've got are already cut up, and the pieces belong to the order. Why would I be looking for cows? Farmers come here all the time to find their cows. Where's Daisy? I lost Moo Moo. Bloody nuisance. Why do they think you've got them? They come in saying I've taken them. I don't take them. I slaughter what I'm brought. The order tells me to slaughter cattle, so that's what I do. Mo will tell you the same. Who's Mo? My assistant. He's just doing his job as well. If you're missing your favorite milker, talk to the order. This place seems busy. This slaughterhouse is a gold mine, but all the profits go to the order. All the meat goes out to feed people. Baxter, next door, he does the books. Pays me, sends the rest of the order. They do make the operation run smoothly. Can I buy some meat? Buy what you want if you can pay for it. I have meat by the piece and sausage. Okay. Let's talk business. Uh, masz gulasz na przykład, potrawkę. Spoczko. O, tam jest chyba mo. The Naked Monk, a cookbook. I guess I'll make a copy of that. Uh, spoko. All right there. Who are you? Mo. I work for Dargo, delivering meat. I see. That's a tough job. Yeah. Especially as I remove offal, keep the butcher's shop clean, render fat, and fetch cattle. If you don't want anything, can I get on? I've got a lot to do. Dargle told me about the farmers that come here. That they can get a little... annoyed. They kick up a mighty fuss too. But what can we do? We have orders to slaughter the cows. I usually try to stay out of it. No, dobra. To co, to może do Nelsona byśmy się przeszli, spytać na przykład? No, ze Sidem też możemy porozmawiać jeszcze. I heard you had a break in. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The laborer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. Is the map done? Let me ch I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. Dobra, pierścia Nelsona. Pogadajmy jeszcze ze Sidem. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, of course I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. Mhm. Quiet. I'm thinking. Jeszcze jest ta lasunia, nie? Keep your hands off what's mine. 
Hello, Anton. Haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. How did you manage to get into Harbour Town? Not much goes in or out these days. Well, not in town anyway. I looked for a way, and I found one. A resourceful, eh? I like that in a man. Glad to hear it. So, what do you do around here? I'm Sid's better half. He's one of the Don's men. Is he now? Now, don't go thinking he's any old ruffian. My Sid is smart, strong, and he knows what a girl wants. Which is? Well, a little material appreciation, of course. Why, what were you thinking? My Sid knows. Why, just the other day, my Sid gave me a beautiful ring. It was fit for the Inquisitor, it was. No. I think Sid stole it. My city is no thief, and you can't prove otherwise. Can I see the ring Sid gave you? Nah! You might chop off my hand to get to it. I know your sort. Hmm. Give me that ring. It's mine, okay? Mine. I'll give you something much better instead. What do you want? I love it when a man asks me that. Tell you what, if you can find me some pearls, a whole string of them, you can have that ring. Where am I going to get pearls from? A real man wouldn't need to ask. A real man would have them in my hand quick sharpish. A lady shouldn't be kept waiting. Ej, jak gdzieś widziałam nasze nich z perłami. A czy jego ktoś nie sprzedawał? Take that pretty face somewhere else. Z kim to się dało handlować? Chryste Panie, Kostar nie ma czegoś takiego przypadkiem? Naszyjnik z pereł nie masz. Naszyjnik mamy ogólnie. Dobra, ja mam identyczną, on wygląda jak spereł, ale on nie jest w ogóle spereł. Hmm. To niedobrze. Dobra, ty nic. No to moi drodzy, mamy jeszcze tutaj co robić, powiem wam. O matko, co ja robię. Nie wiem, czy Rodriguez coś jeszcze powie, wydaje mi się, że chyba niekoniecznie. About Sid's spy. Have you talked to everyone who had their houses burgled? Not yet. Well, I think that's your place to start looking for Sid's scout. Dobra, no to ogarniemy jeszcze. Okej, okay, moi drodzy, no to wydaje mi się, że możemy chwilowo zakończyć ten odcinek. Udało nam się sporo zrobić. Myślę, że w ogóle też jakby większą część miasta już obeszliśmy i tych zadań już nam nie zostało zbyt wiele. Myślę, że ze dwa odcinki i będziemy mogli już te zadania dla Inkwizycji skończyć, jak nie jeden w ogóle. Ale kurde, jeszcze cała tawerna została, tutaj ten kawałeczek, to śledztwo, tam e, był kowal na górze. No zobaczymy jak to pójdzie, myślę, że dwa, maksymalnie trzy odcinki i będziemy pomału wychodzić z miasta. Moi drodzy, jeżeli odcinek Wam się podobał, to zachęcam Was do łapki w górę, subskrypcji, komentarza. Ja lecę go dla Was montować i... I co? Trzymajcie się i cześć!